welcome to another video tutorial in this video we will use an online tool that is called shiny go shiny go is used for gene ontology enrichment analysis uh, with the help of this website you can create this enrichment charts and uh, signaling pathway for keg and you can also develop your tree network with the combination of protein protein interaction network and you can also uh, get information in the form of tables uh, for your promoter and uh, how to begin this website uh, we can just simply paste a list of genes uh, which you will use for your enrichment analysis and uh, uh, make sure that uh, you should not use this website for RNA seq analysis because if you want to uh, use uh, for RNA seq analysis, there is a separate website which I will cover in next video. For the time being, I will just use for genome wide analysis or proteome analysis. Uh, let's uh, take example, and uh, here is a list of 147 genes. I can just copy and uh, paste here. You will see that uh, it is. Uh, will show another website uh, another tab for background that is recommended so you can here paste the list of all the unfiltered uh, genes which you have initially uh, get from your company or from your uh, data analyst uh, with with this uh, from this actual list you have selected this set of genes so if you don't have uh, you can just simply leave it empty but it is good and it is highly recommended to use the original website for better results and accurate results you can read this as a message but if you will leave it empty if it will just use the whole genome online data website and it will build uh, enrichment analysis on the basis of online information so after pasting your uh, gene IDs, you will see that in each ID there is a gap before starting the next ID. Here I have pasted 147 and I will just click on the submit and before clicking the submit I should select the species that is human for this case. When I will select the submit it will convert the gene IDs into a tabular form yeah now we can see that it has been changed to a tabular form all these all these genes have been changed to a tabular form we can see that uh, uh, after the sorting by fold enrichment 36 genes belong to cytokine mediated signaling pathway and 42 genes for cellular response to cytokine stimulus and 43 genes belong to response to uh, cytokine so uh, on the basis of this enrichment we can uh, use to build this website for building of charts like here when you will click here it will take few seconds to develop the chart uh, and we can manipulate the chart by using this character like we can change the sorting and we can also change this x-axis for fold enrichment we can also change the color size and we can also change the font like when you will click here it will automatically update and we can also change the, the circle size like if we just increase for example it will update again we can also use color for red red we usually for high color and blue for low I think so if you want to change uh, uh, you can change otherwise uh, red and blue are just standard and uh, red is used for with highest negative log values and for lowest blue is normally used but you can also change uh, this chart type like the lollipop you can change to dot plot after clicking you will see that this website will update this figure in the background it will take a few seconds and let me click 
for bar plot oh sorry there is an internet problem uh, okay uh, when you will click uh, on dot plot this website will update in the background we can see that now the dot plot is appeared and uh, while changing to bar plot we can see that bar plot will be visible so it is up to you what you like and which size and which color you want so if you want to use uh, this website for your publication while doing genome wide analysis and enrichment analysis you can simply click on left click on the mouse and uh, you can save this as image uh, like we can just simply download here as one and we can click on save so we will see that our figure will be downloaded you can use this for your later purposes for publication or data analysis so uh, while moving to tree we can see that it can also build the tree uh, yeah this tree uh, is actually a representation of this data of 137 genes into different groups so we can also uh, download in its figure form by simply clicking here uh, soon a figure with high quality resolution will be downloaded so you can also use for your own purpose for publication or data analysis and uh, while moving to network analysis you can also uh, check that this set a data set uh, number of genes how they are interacting in network and how controlling the phenotype uh, in according to the go biological processes you can if you want to save similarly you can click here left click mouse and say you can save image like we can save this as two so we will see that uh, a figure will be downloaded you can use this and if you want to change its layout you can simply just click here to change its layout uh, which will depends on your interest that what you want while moving to keg pathway uh, when you will select here keg pathway you should make sure that from here keg should be selected so from here you can select keg it will just take few seconds to create keg pathway uh, uh, and from out of this uh, data set you can select that which pathway you want to draw for keg let's suppose for this we want to draw the first one we can download yeah we can see that this pathway is automatically generated and if you want to save similarly you can oh sorry uh, you can save this as three so we can see that this pathway is now downloaded so while moving to next uh, these genes can, a list of the gene can also be uh, downloaded in the form of table so you can simply click here we, we will see that a table form of this gene is also downloaded which you can later use for your own analysis while moving to groups we can also change this whole group into some small parts like in, in this example we have seen that like all these uh, three categories are changed into small groups if you want to use you can simply go on with this similarly you can use for plots genome and promoter analysis and you can select that how many base pair you want as promoter like 300 or 600 mostly i prefer to use 600 because some genes are longer than 300 base pair as per motor and the last one uh, if you want to use this as per motor you can simply uh, click here a file of excel will be downloaded so, and uh, if you will click here on the string we know that string is a protein protein interaction network when you will click on the string it will take few minutes to upload uh, a new table form for protein protein interaction network of DAGs 
the after uh, appearance of one table here you can click here and you can download uh, we should make sure that if you want to use this website for rnsc analysis you should not use this website because it is not just comparing the two states so if you want uh, to use it for rnsc analysis you should open uh, this new website that is called idip uh, which i will cover in the next video so we can see that uh, while coming back to string now uh, this is uh, protein protein interaction from for biological process similarly you can change according to your own choice and if you want to download you can simply click here we can see that an excel file is downloaded with its interaction so for hope so uh, this tool can be used for enrichment analysis of your own data set if needed thank you for watching bye bye